a potentially lucrative new sea route through the Arctic could be hampered by the wrong type of ice. Shipping companies are increasingly exploring the potential of the Northern Sea Route, or NSR, as warming seas melt the ice in the Arctic region. The first Chinese cargo vessel through the passage completed its journey in 35 days compared with an average 48 days through the traditional route. But despite the route being open for just four months of the year, the conditions can be treacherous. The NSR with its shallow water is not suitable for large container ships which move 95% of the world's manufactured goods. We have a limitation that transport company, uh, they need the reliability of that route but at the moment, this route cannot guarantee the peak time of delivery of a product because of the change in ice situation. And there remain questions over how to evacuate the ships in all ice conditions. So in case of um, emergency preparation or evacuation, the uh, owners of the um, uh, companies have to be prepared in advance. So and it's a very important issue that have to be ready for. However, the commercial benefits mean that journey numbers are still expected to rise significantly. The atom float estimates by 2020, uh, the amount of cargo can reach up to 15 million uh, tons. The last year we had uh, 71 uh, transit voyages. If we are saying that the amount of cargo will be uh, 15 uh, million tons, then it means it should be 250 Panamax uh, vessels.